A new discovery could help shed light on why the mysterious Stonehenge was built. The large complex, found in a city around 1.5 miles from the famous Stone Circle, is thought to date back more than 1,000 years before Stonehenge. The researchers say the complex was a sacred place where Neolithic people performed ceremonies, including feasting and the deliberate smashing of ceramic bowls. The new discovery shows the entire area around Stonehenge was even more sacred and ritually active than archaeology had thought hundreds of years before Stonehenge appeared. The complex was built about 5,650 years ago, around 3650 BC, more than 1,000 years before the stones of Stonehenge were erected. The 656-foot diameter complex consists of around 3,000 feet of ditches and is the first major early Neolithic monument discovered in the Stonehenge area for more than a century. It was discovered in a village called Larkhall in Wiltshire, just 1.5 Five miles northeast of the famous site. A group of archaeologists found the site after the UK Ministry of Defence was preparing to build British Army houses on the land. The researchers, led by Wessex Archaeology, found evidence of cattle bones, ceramic dishes and human remains, freshly broken pottery, dumps of worked flint and even a large stone saddle corn used to turn grain into flour were also found. The researchers will now test the remains of the, the findings, including the ceramic bowls, to try to determine what they were used for. Each bowl could have held up to 10.5 pints of beverage or partially liquid food, potentially a broth. The newly found site is one of the most exciting discoveries in the Stonehenge landscape that archaeologists have ever made, a prehistorian from Wessex Archaeology said. These discoveries are changing the way we think about prehistoric culture and about the Stonehenge landscape in particular, said Martin Brown, principal archaeologist for WYG. Consult Consultancy company WYG, which is leading the local housing development. The Neolithic people whose monuments we are exploring shaped the world we inhabit. They were the first farmers and the first people who settled down in this landscape, setting us on the path to the modern world. It is an enormous privilege to hold their tools and investigate their lives. Around 300 feet of the ditches have been excavated so far. The findings indicate the people used the sacred area for rituals, including feasting on cattle and smashing plates, as well as a burial ground. Human skull fragments were also found in the ditch, probably reflecting ceremonial practices and religious belief. No one is exactly sure why, or even how, Stonehenge was built, but the new findings could provide some fresh clues. About 70 enclosures of this type are known across England, although this is only the second discovery in the Stonehenge landscape, with the other further to the north at Robin Hood's Ball on the Salisbury Plain training area. Researchers believe that that enclosures were rapidly erected all over southern England in just 75 years. Researchers have suggested it was a temple, parliament and a graveyard. Some people think the stones have healing powers, while others think they have musical properties when struck with a stone. They could have acted as a giant musical instrument to call ancient people to the monument. There is evidence the stones were aligned with phases of the sun and some have proposed it was used as a giant observatory to monitor the stars. People were buried there and skeletal evidence shows that people traveled hundreds of miles to visit Stonehenge. For whatever reason, recently, experts said the route was a busy one and that Stonehenge could be viewed differently from different positions. It seems that instead of being a complete barrier, the Neolithic structure acted as a gateway to guide visitors to the stone circle.